it's Camille and today I'm bringing you a cute pixie makeup look for Halloween and I know this video is late but use it next year. Anyways we're gonna start this video by priming our face as usual and putting on some foundation. These are just the two foundations I mixed together to get my current color and I'm stippling that on with my beauty blender. You want good looking skin for the base of your makeup and you also want to blank out your lips as well. Now I'm going in with this cream highlighter that you saw in my ColourPop video, but pretty much it's just a highlight that has reflective purple glitters in it, and it's the perfect thing to use as a base for any sort of purple highlight that you want. And since this look is very purple, I'm starting out with this as a beautiful glowing base for it. It's also really fun to use, so I just pull it out for any excuse that I have to use it. <laughs> Also putting that under my brows, on my nose, and on my upper lip. Now I'm going to bake my face like a cake using my Ofra powder. So I'm just putting that to bake under my eyelids and on my forehead and then on my chin. Just all the areas that you would normally bake your face. I'm going in with a blush from MAC that was part of an older collection and you can't really find it anymore. But it's a really cool blush. It's just a dark purple which you can use to get a really beautiful contour if you want to be a pixie. And it was just seriously the perfect product for this, so I'm using it to contour the heck out of my nose and make it really small and petite. And then I'm bringing that all the way up to my brows to really just make a shape out of my face. And it's just going to be a narrow sort of center. I'm also bringing that from my brow to the outer corners of my face and I'm using a fluffy brush to do that to just kind of wing out the shadow and then I'm also using it to draw underneath my lid leaving a little bit of space between the waterline and this line and then connecting it back. I'm going in with my City Color Timeless Beauty Palette and I'm using the purple highlight to set the cream highlight that I put on my brow bone and now I'm using my NYX Glitter Primer as a regular eyeshadow primer because I want this to really adhere to my face and I'm going to be using very pigmented shades like this one. This one's a duochrome and I'm putting it on the center of my lids which just really brightens up the whole lid and brings that purple and blue into it since it is duochrome and it's just a really great shadow. This one is also a foiled shadow and it's a darker purple. I'm putting this on the outer corner of my lid and flicking it out underneath the wing of the blush and I'm putting that right between the bottom and the top flick. Now I'm using this brown to cut my crease. I'm using a denser brush to do this and I'm flicking this between the purples to help separate them and to help define the wing and this is just going to add a lot more definition as well. I'm going in with a foiled silver. Now this is super, super silver since it is foiled, and I'm putting that on the inner corners of my lids. With this cranberry shade, I'm using that to blend out the cut crease and add a little bit more depth with my fluffy brush. And now I'm going back in with that blush and I'm going to add shadows to the outer sides of my face, kind of like intense contouring. And I'm doing the same thing to my cheekbones, just very intensely contouring them with this blush which I've actually used to do this normally to my face, just not as many layers as I'm using here. Um, as you can see, I'm also doing this on my clavicle, and yes, this is like my favorite part of my whole entire body, so I love defining my collarbone, and I'm putting this in the top and the bottom so you can really define that and add some shadow. Using the same duochrome shadow, I'm setting my nose highlight with that. Now I'm using a white liner and I'm lining my waterline with this to make my eyes super bright and I'm also bringing it a little bit below the waterline as well and just lining my lower lash line with this so it can make my eyes seem a lot bigger than they are and very bright and kind of doe-eyed. I'm using my favorite gel liner and I'm putting this on my top lash line and making a wing that follows exactly the flick I lined right above the bottom flick and below the purple that's on the outer corner. So you just want to follow that natural curve. I'm also using this right below my white eyeliner so I can define that and add more of a shadow and make my eyes pop. Now I'm dusting off that cake because you can't keep baking forever. 
Also so I can put on the rest of my face, which is going to be that same duochrome shadow as a highlight, and I'm putting that all the way up to my temples. I'm using this white base so I can block out my brows and brighten them up since I have really dark hairs, and I can use these two shadows on top of it to add some color. I decided to go with this cute blue so it could just give some more color than just the purple and kind of bring out the blue in the shadow, and then I used purple underneath to just kind of line the bottom for fun. Now I'm using that same white and I'm adding freckles because I love freckles and any chance that I get to wear them, I'm going to wear them. <laughs> and it also makes you look even more innocent. Um, going over those freckles with my glitter, which is another thing I can't resist. If I ever have an excuse to use glitter, I'm definitely going to use it. And now I just look so innocent. Like, I've never seen anyone with freckles do anything wrong, so that's why you gotta do that for your pixie look. I'm also adding the glitter on the inner corners because it's just a lot more bright. And then I'm doing one small line of the glitter liner right under my brows. I'm going in with my Nikki 2 lipstick from MAC. And yeah, this is originally to look like Nicki Minaj, but you can also look like a pixie because that girl be using some bright lipstick. So this is perfect for the pixie look because you want everything to be light and delicate and cute. So this is the perfect lip color for that. I'm using my most dramatic falsies to make my eyes bigger and then some lip gloss just in the center of my lips to plump them up. I'm going over my cupid's bow with some more highlight from that same city color palette and I'm using another highlight on the clavicle just on the top parts of my bones so then that can be kind of more glowy and look a little bit more protruding. I'm also highlighting the cheekbones and the chin where I baked and that is it for the makeup. Now I'm going to add a flower crown that I made myself. I used some wire to make the actual crown itself and then I individually attached these fake flowers and butterflies to it. The whole day I wore this, it reminded everyone of the Snapchat filter, so there's that. <laughs> now I'm going to set my face with this setting spray, and girl, you're done. Here is the finished look. You look like a cute little pixie ready to go out and grant everyone's wishes. Speaking of wishes, if you guys like this video, please grant mine and subscribe to my channel. All the products I use are listed in the blog post linked down below. And so is my vlog channel and social media. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in two days in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.